Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm just wrapping up a couple reviews of knives that I had loaned in by Brad, mild-mannered EDC. This here is the Artisan Cutlery Arian. This is a Cerberus design, uh, same guy behind Cerberus Scales. Uh, he also now designs knives. Um, really, really cool offering here, and I'm really grateful to Brad for letting me check it out because I was really ready to just spend the 270 bucks on Artisan's website to pick one up. Um, but I really was worried about that frame lock for a lefty because it's only a hull deployment. And I'm very glad that he let me uh, check it out because now I know that it just doesn't work for me. Um, so let's get into it. Try to keep this quick. Uh, you have this cool drop point blade aesthetically. Again, this is really cool looking. I love a nice, uh, simple design with a, a spear point slash drop point and a hole for deployment. I just think that's a good look to a knife. Um, you know, uh, reminds me of a few things I have. The Leong Ma Field Duty EDC, um, the uh, Vox F5.5. That's a sheep's foot, but similar kind of profile. Um, the Bug Out has a similar kind of look to it. It has studs instead of a hole, but it's a very kind of um generic sort of look but i love the touches he put on it with this uh hole right here as opposed to like a pill shaped one or a circle or whatever um and i like the blade shape comes down to a very nice tip um it's still got some durability to it though um and then this handle is very very simple but um just made very well and then the clip very very good feature of this knife very minimal clip uh, pretty much a deep carry clip and then you have this like wine merlot i think they call it like red coral or something micarta scale on it i do wish it was more micarta e you know like um like riot micarta or uh best tech like uh, vero micarta giant mouse you know this is more slick kind of like a hard micarta that's not my favorite um uh, but yeah aesthetically it's cool ergonomically God damn. Um, ergonomically, because of this handle shape and the size of it, right? This is like almost a four inch blade. Um, it's very comfortable. It's just an extremely neutral handle. I mean, you just get a plain flat handle here. You get jimping on the top of the blade there, which bites in very well, I must say, but it doesn't hurt. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I can spread out on this with my hand. It feels really good in the hand. I, I really enjoyed it. You can hold it in other grips and it's comfortable. Um, pretty much the same all around because it's neutral. Again, I never really do that. Um, so yeah, ergos are really good on this um, action. So uh, for a righty, I think this is fantastic. You know, you have the middle finger flick. Um, that's pretty much your main deployment method. You can get your thumb in there. Um, the detent's not really dialed for the thumb flick, and you got to kind of watch out for the lock bar. Um, I, I can't really do it right-handed. The flick is probably the way you want to deploy this knife. I guess you could slow roll it out like that uh, if you're, you know, older than 40 or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm a jackass. But, yeah, it's a right-handed. It, it's really good, trust me. I'm not right-handed, so it, it looks like it sucks, but um it's really good um left-handed it's it's almost useless like i can get it but even that flick right there was tough because it had a little pressure on the lock bar and it was like i had to give it a lot of gas to get it out half the time i can't get it out where i want to put my hand is like this to flick and i'm just locking up that lock bar so i have to put it up by the pivot and it's just awkward. Um, and then I almost land up on the blade when I go to grip. Um, it just does not work left-handed. Uh, thumb flick, again, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the lock bar with this side of my thumb. And it kind of makes it to where it doesn't want to just pop out. I can walk it out. But it's just uh, hella awkward. I just say hella. I'm a, I'm a douche. Anyway, <laughs> um... Yeah, so, I mean, I can do it, like, oh, fuck me. 
There, Jesus. Okay, yeah. So you see what I mean? It just doesn't work left-handed. Um, the action on the close, it's it's really good. Drops to the nail, very very smooth. Artisan makes some very smooth pivots, guys. I am impressed with their work after handling three or four of them now. Um, yeah. So action is good, right-handed, right? Cutting. You have this S35VN spear point blade. Uh, it comes down to a thin edge. It is a flat grind most of the way. That goes most of the way, sorry, on this satin blade. And it is thin behind the edge. I got to assume it's somewhere around 15 to 17,000. They did a great job on this grind. And it slices like a demon, guys. This thing is an incredible blade. I wish it was M390 for the price. Um, but... You know, whatever. S35BN is a good steal. Um, yeah, cutting, fantastic. I cut out some shipping labels, opened some packages. I think I cut a little bit of cardboard just to test it, and it's a laser beam, guys. Again, not my knife, so I didn't go crazy, but Brad has said nothing but good things as well. Um, carry on this knife is also fantastic. You have this awesome kind of minimal clip. I love minimal clips, guys. Um, just goes in and out of pocket like a dream. It tucks away for, for a relatively large knife. I mean, the overall size of this thing is pretty big and, um, it just tucks away and disappears. It is, uh, pretty lightweight. I don't know what it actually weighs like, but it can't be more than like three, three and a half ounces for almost a four inch blade. Carry is fantastic guys. The sounds it really cracks out of there when you do get it. A little ting on the clothes. It, it's, a, it's a good sounding knife. It has my card on this side, so it dulls it a little bit. But it's a good sounding knife. Uh, nothing special, but not, not a hindrance. There are some knives where sounds just aren't good. Um, like I have a TRM Adam I'm reviewing right now. And I put my card of scales on it, and now it just is very dull sounding. Um, and yeah, that's a hindrance to me, but this one's fine. Um, actually, these guys are pretty similar, aren't they? Well, the arena is a little bit uh, bigger, obviously, but similar shapes. I never even kind of put that together. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the Arian. Um, sounds are fine. So uh, what did I talk about? Carry, cutting, aesthetics, ergonomics, and sounds, value. This is 270 bucks on their website right now. I don't think that's a value. I think that's pricey as hell for S35VN, um, whatever this micarta is, and titanium. That's very expensive to me. Now that is MSRP. So when these hit retailers, I'm guessing it'll be more like 200. That is a decent price. Still for S35VN, I think 150 would be better for this knife from a, a bigger company like Artisan. Um, if you slapped M390 on it and charged me 220, I'd be happy, right? Or 250 even for M390. Um, so I, I don't really quite understand their steel choice. Um, you know, maybe they should have just thrown on the AR RPM nine, their, their new steel and dropped the price to 150. you know, more people would want it that way, I guess. Um, so it's definitely not a value guys. Um, yeah. Uh, another little nitpick I have is the blade to handle ratio. If you look here, there's like a decent amount of handle left over at the end of the, the tip ends here, right? And you have all of this left. You could have cut a little bit of the, the handle off there. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, maybe the way... No. I really don't see a reason for that. Um, other than to just make the handle longer. Um, maybe because of the lanyard post. I don't know. Or the construction. But um, that's a very small nitpick, guys. Um, other than that, I don't have any issues with it. I like Cerberus knives. I like the designs. Um... Here's your logo on the blade here, and then your steel marking, serial number. Um, you know, I could do without the serial number 
And then they also have artisan cutlery back here on the backspacer. Um, so yeah, recommendations, guys. I think this is a great everyday carry for somebody who likes the middle finger flick and is right-handed. If you are right-handed and love the middle finger flick, this is a dream, guys. Really, really cool offering, especially in a bigger size knife. Um, if you're left-handed, stay away from this. Be warned. This is a zero or a one on the left ability scale. Um, just does not work for us. So it's sad. I hope they make a lefty version. I will buy it immediately. Um, so yeah, guys, just want to thank Brad again for letting me uh, check this guy out. The Artisan Knives or Artisan Cutlery, Arian. That's A-R-I-O-N. And um, that's it, guys. Cool knife. Uh, so I'm glad I got to look at it and didn't have to buy it. Um, so yep, appreciate you listening to me rant and rave as usual. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I, 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 mother of fuck shit ass. I will catch you later.